Oh boy, here we go again. Thanks for watching or listening to this video, but it seems Footy Beauty is coming at me and my panel once more. This has been happening time and time and time again, and this time is no exception. So, two hours ago at the time of this recording, she said Dork literally had a fatter person on panel, yet fat and body shamed me. Okay, Dad Bod Monty Lal. Thumbs up, crying, laughing face, times three. Hot ass biznatch, please have several seats. I mean, foodie beauty, you say you are empathetic, but what we're seeing is literally the opposite of this. The panel is supposed to give valid, competent advice, right? That's what we're here. We're here to talk about things that are occurring in the girl world and beyond like we talk about anything we could talk about crypto we could talk about life we can talk about roe v wade anything and everything is talked about and people on the panel give you advice give you good advice to maybe do cleaning streams maybe cook maybe walk maybe exercise change your life for the better before it's too late and what do you do you shame that's what you do. And calling me or saying that I have a dad bod, I don't really care. I, I don't have a dad bod. And I'm going to show you that I do not. Come on. Foodie beauty, those low blows don't work on me. And I heard you were coming after my giveaways. Foodie beauty, you didn't give the coffee to Ashley Lambo, Or should I say Ashwi Wambo? You didn't give her the magnet that you broke. You opened the coffee, you broke the magnet. The postcard tier was being a farce. In fact, you could even consider it a scam, outright scam. You haven't been doing anything except for what? Uh, streaming on Twitch uh, a week ago or so. Other than that, you've been getting money for free and you haven't been doing anything on OnlyFans. So there itself, you've also been getting money for free sooner or later. You are going to get banned on Twitch. You are going to get banned on OnlyFans and whatnot. And if you keep up with the flashing and put in adult content that would be otherwise OnlyFans friendly, of course, and things you should be doing on OnlyFans on YouTube, this channel is going to be gone again. And as I've said before, I've seen a channel be removed by YouTube and it comes back, but I've never seen a channel get removed, comes back, get removed again by YouTube and comes back. I've never seen that happen. And I don't think I will. Because if they remove you a second time, it's practically permanent. So, what can I say? There's a lot of comments here about what's going on, about what she's been saying. I also heard she dragged me in her earliest dream before the current one that she's on right now. As of the time of this recording, she is still live talking about $60 food. Um, you know what? She's just upset that I exposed her boyfriend, not boyfriend, Nader El Shami, on his 271A that he had a first, um, first showing yesterday at 9 a.m. And I'm sure he was going to come on and talk a lot of shit, make it seem as if it's nothing serious, and then try and somehow manipulate his audience to make money off of it. But then I came along I told people, no, that is an SA. It's not even a summary. Um, it is an indictable offense, not a summary. So that means he's facing up to 10 years. And that really rubbed both of them the wrong way. Then again, I came back and be like, listen, his next court date is August 3rd, room 4, 9 a.m., just like yesterday. And he needs to take this seriously. That is why she's really upset. You see, Foodie Beauty gets upset whenever you tell the truth because if you say something ridiculous as in i don't know what is something absurd that you would laugh at oh uh let's say you said she was with roman last night but that's not true she'll ignore it because she knows it's not true but if you say she was with natter last night or she was trying to get Natter to come over, then she will vigorously and furiously attack it because she knows it's true. That's how she works. I've said this before and I'm going to keep saying it again. This is exactly how it works with her. 
how our mentality is. So once again, the panel is there to help, not to hurt, give advice, good advice, um, talk about many things that doesn't necessarily have to be foodie beauty. We've talked about many other things. And if foodie beauty is worried about shaming, then the next sentence shouldn't be body shaming somebody else because that really shows your true colors. That really shows who or what kind of person you are. And that is never a good look. Anyways, that's it for me. Leave me a like, subscribe, leave me a comment, and I'll see you later. Take care. Have a good one. Bye-bye.